Hey guys, did you know there's more than one way to attract your twin flame? <laughs> there's the obvious way of actively trying to attract them, right? Which works for some people and doesn't for others. But there's another way too. And we are going to tell you all about what could be maybe an easier path for you in your ascension journey. Stay tuned for all the juicy tips. And I'm Gabby. If we go over any terms or things that you are not aware of or would like explanation on in the video, feel free to comment below and a member of our team will reach out to you. Okay, so the most common way to achieve twin flame union is to heal any blocks that you have within you so that you are able to attract your ultimate lover, your twin flame. And that is a great route for many, many people. There are also people who kind of keep butting up against the same blocks or upsets, or maybe they don't even know who their twin flame person is, and they get in a bit of a loop of, okay, now what? Like, what do I do now? How can I attract this person if I have no idea who it even is or when it's gonna happen? What should, what should I be focusing my energy on, right? And so even if you are kind of actively pursuing your twin flame person and you know who it is, you could still choose a different route of attraction that goes hand in hand because really all routes are the same. The ascension journey is all one journey, regardless of what you're focusing on. So it's safe to check out some other routes to get you there if it's feeling very heavy and stuck. And so that route is to focus on your life purpose. And what is your life purpose? <laughs> Kai's going to hop in here in a second and kind of go over all of the pieces of what goes into a life purpose. But essentially, it's what you're doing here on the planet right now. And for Twin Flames, we've all been sent for a very specific purpose to heal some aspect and ground heaven on earth. So you have a very specific mission here with your Twin Flame person. And as you discover that mission, you'll gain a lot of steam on your ascension journey. So even if you're with your Twin Flame person, even if you're in union, that doesn't change the life purpose part of it. You still have to heal through all of those things as well. So feel free to check out that route and see if it feels good to you. The main thing is it doesn't matter what order you do it in. So you may as well focus on your life purpose now and enjoy all of the benefits of magnetizing your twin flame by literally just focusing on you and fulfilling your dreams and aspirations. And it seems kind of counterintuitive to not focus at all on your twin flame journey and only focus on yourself. <laughs> but that is actually one of the quickest ways to magnetize your twin flame by focusing on yourself and healing any blocks that arise within you using the mirror exercise. If you're not sure what that is, please check it out. And once you are with your twin flame, obviously you will be working on your life purpose anyway. So it's pretty wise actually <laughs> to get all of those pieces in place moving forward so that you have a solid foundation on which to build your harmonious twin flame union. You don't have to wait around. If it seems like your twin flame is off in la la land, dating other people, doing other things, completely oblivious to your existence, you don't have to wait for them. You can magnetize your twin flame and achieve your union just by focusing on what it is you're here on the planet to do.